This is Boxing Talk, Talk A576 coming at you, man. That was a pretty good fight, man. Uh, congratulations to uh, Triple G for winning. But I, I expected him to win because he's a bigger fighter. But, man, Kell Brook put on a good, courageous performance. If they were the same size, Triple G would be uh, in trouble a little bit. That would be a, a more that, – that fight goes 12. But, unfortunately, Kell Brook is a welterweight. Triple G is a 160-pound uh, fighter. I believe, I know Paul Manaji was saying that uh, he think that uh, Kell Brook got his over the bone, bro. I don't know for sure, but I think that's what Kell Brook trainer seen in the corner. And maybe he stopped the fight because he seen that, that, that his eye was really, really badly damaged. And Triple G started coming on around, around round three, four, and five. That's when Triple G started really putting on the pressure because... Kell Brook was giving him some good movement, some good angles, and Triple G was looking a little bit lost in there. But, man, big ups to Kell Brook. He can't hold his head, man. He went in there. He tried to challenge himself. He came up short. Triple G, now Triple G got to go go and fight some 160-pound fighters, man. Triple G, you got to go fight guys your weight that, that can compete with you that's going to give you a good fight. Danny Jacobs is out there. Go get that fight. Go get that lower fight. Triple G, no more excuses. Stop fighting these smaller guys. Don't go back. Don't, don't fight another welterweight. Go fight somebody at 160 or go fight Canelo. This is Boxing Talk 8576. Let me know what you th thought about the fight. I'm out.